Good morning. So it's day one. I got in late last night, uh, spent the night here in Managua right across from the airport and headed back to the airport this morning to jump on a little plane and go to Siuna. Headed to the airport now. We're gonna get on a little plane and fly out to the jungle. I don't know where Kent and the rest of the guys are, but I'm sure they'll catch up. Should be a fun day. So it is about 5.30 in the morning here in Ilamicampa. The computer lab is behind me. Uh, we built the computer lab uh, set up last year with all the computers. And this year we're installing a solar panel system on it so it'll have a more consistent power supply. And there's birds up there making noises. So we're gonna get started while it's nice and cool and then hopefully get most of it done before it gets too hot. So we're just kind of walking through. We're going to meet the boat on the other side as I guess it's quicker to walk and we get a break from the boat. Uh, timber coming off the river banks and then being loaded to go out to the sawmills on the coast and then for shipment to the United States or Cuba. Uh, this was a place where they brought a uh, gold ore out to be taken down in big barges uh, again out to the uh, out to the ocean to where it was also processed and then transshipped uh, back on up to the United States or further south to Costa Rica. Uh, the uh, Lumbaica was a really really big uh, community and so what happened was is the bridges that connect Lumbaica to the road out there were um, basically just they rotted and fell apart and nobody repaired them because by the mid 1970s the country was in a pretty much of a turmoil and so that infrastructure was never replaced uh, well there's no infrastructure to get in here by road so uh, pretty soon Alamikamba became the central point uh, along along the river so you know that's it's interesting how the history you know, changes and you know the loss of a couple pieces of infrastructure can change the entire dynamic of the region. So you know, like I say, it, it, it's crazy to think. I remember, you know, ten years ago there were still you know there were still cranes all rusting and rusting out along these banks, and you know the remnants of large barges. Um, you know, this one over here is about the last that they haven't managed to cut up for scrap and sell. But you know, it's just—it's crazy to think about all of the infrastructure. I mean, this—this this is a, this is a piece of a, of a small rail car. This is a this is a something uh, you know that's been here since who knows when. Um, but it's all gone. And you, know, you think about what that means in terms of you know the, the job opportunities for the people, 
the you know just what they have to resort back to subsistence agriculture uh, you know just the uh, the ability of the drug trade to come in here and do whatever they want because literally there is absolutely nothing else so I mean it's just it's crazy to think about you know how that how that has happened out here so we just had a long day on the river. We're back in Alami Kamba now and waiting for Marcus and the guys to get here with the truck so we can get back to the lodge.